Salutations, crustaceans. I'm Lobster, and today we are taking a closer look at my Music Man Stingray EX with a status graphite fretless neck. Let's check this thing out. This is my Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray EX with a status graphite neck, and that's pretty much it. It is stock. Now, for those who don't know, the Stingray EX is a Japanese-made Stingray that was produced for the Japanese domestic market from the mid-90s through the early 2000s. And they produced two different types of Stingrays, one with the classic-style mute bridge and one with the more uh, modern Stingray standard bridge. But both were very interesting because, again, they were Japanese-produced Stingrays using USA hardware and electronics. So this base here is a Stingray EX, again, made in Japan, but it has a status graphite fretless neck that was installed by Dave Taylor of D. Taylor Guitars, uh, or D. Taylor Basses. I'll link them down in the description below. But uh, either way, he installed this for me, and this is just one of my favorite basses. <laughs> This body has definitely seen some things. This is a base from the mid 90s and when you remove the pick guard, there is quite the tan line. It also has its fair share of dings and scuffs throughout, but that is mojo for a base this old. And paired with the status graphite fretless neck, this uh, just amplifies the mojo. Up at the headstock, we have the Music Man Stingray Special Lightweight Tuners. These are very nice tuners and I wanted to keep everything all Music Man. And other than that, this base is 100% stock. I was going to swap out the pickup, but after shielding everything up, I thought that this is just an amazing base as is. Featuring the first iteration of the three-band Stingray preamps, uh, it's voiced a little bit differently versus something that you get in a modern Stingray, especially a Stingray Special. And that is paired with an old-school El Nico pickup. Very nice pickup, too. Very beautifully voiced. And this neck is a carbon fiber neck with a synthetic fingerboard. The nut width is still the same 41.3 millimeter that you get from a Stingray, and it's pretty much the same neck profile too, so uh, not too much of a deviation there. However, what you get in playability is just incredible with this unlined fretless neck. Now, this is not for the faint of heart or the faint of intonation, so be sure to brush up on your fretless skills before picking up something like this, but uh, we'll play it soon enough. But first, let's go ahead and turn this base around. Around back, we see pretty much nothing. We see a small battery compartment for a 9-volt battery. This is the old-school battery cover before they came out with the plastic door. So this is just a small metal plate that is attached with two screws. And we have a 6-volt old-school neck attachment. This was in the Music Men bases from the early 90s. Uh, up until very recently when they moved to the five screw neck attachment on the Stingray Specials. However, the Sterling by Music Men Stingrays still utilize the same neck attachment. And I believe these necks will fit those as well. Correct me if I'm wrong. For body material, I believe this is ash. It's heavy like ash and they use selected hardwoods on the Stingrays. So I'm gonna say that this is an ash body. You see the beautiful grain here, and contrasting that is this beautiful carbon fiber neck. Again, I just love carbon fiber. I'm a big car person, I love cars, and I love carbon fiber in cars. I would take a carbon fiber toilet seat, but my girlfriend would dump me, so. <laughs> but I think this pairing with the natural finish and the carbon fiber is just mwah, absolutely beautiful. Now, how much does this base weigh? This one comes in at around 9.8 pounds, just a hair under 10 pounds. Not the lightest base in the world, that's for sure, so definitely get a good strap if you're rocking a solid ash body, old school stingray like this. The carbon fiber probably reduces the weight a little bit, but it's still pretty heavy. <laughs> so how much does the Music Man Stingray EX cost? These can go anywhere on the used market from $1,000 to $2,000. I purchased this one for around, I think, $900 or $1,000, including shipping, and uh, I got this from, like, Russia. Uh, that was a pretty cool thing. So, uh, dude who I bought this from, if you're watching this, uh, thanks for the base, man. <laughs> But yeah, these can definitely vary. They're not that common, but they're still somewhat available if you look on eBay or Reverb and search Stingray EX. You'll probably find a few results. As for the neck, 
The Status Graphite Stingray Neck is around $500 shipped to the US from the UK, and that includes all taxes and fees and whatnot, at least for this unlined fretless neck. Uh, that is also based on the currency conversion, which is ever fluctuating, so take that for what you will. If you want more accurate pricing, go check out Status Graphite's official website, which will also be linked in the description below. Now keep in mind, these necks do not come pre-drilled for tuners or the neck pocket. So you will have to, you know, drill your holes for the neck attachment on the body as well as for the tuners. Keep that in mind. And I know you're all wondering, what does this bass sound like? You know what you need to do? Go ahead and hit that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. Now this base is currently strung up with an older set of MJC Ironworks nickel plated stainless steel 45 to 105. I haven't swapped on any of the SITs yet, but I think I might be doing a set of Labella flats in the future. However, I've been enjoying it thus far with the round wounds on here. What you've heard so far is with the EQ centered volume at 100%. There's only one pickup, so there's no blend control. So we just have this EQ here that we can play with. We have a treble, mid, and bass control here with a boost and cut, and everything was centered thus far. Let's hear that one more time. EQ a little bit. This is a very flexible EQ and it is the first three band iteration from Music Man from the early 90s. So this is similar to what you'd find in a uh, early mid 90s USA Stingray. Let's first just take everything down all the way just for fun. Full cut. This is what that sounds like. <laughs> So that is with the EQ all the way down. It's not a ham-fisted EQ, so you're not going to, you know, completely neuter the bass at full cut. You can really tailor in the tone that you want. I really like actually just having the bass control at center and leaving everything else at full cut. You can get something that's just really nice and smooth, even with these rounds. Let's check it out. Now with the bass control centered, let's bring the treble into the mix. So we are going to center the treble control, leave the mids cut, and have the bass at center as well. Very nice, very nice. Now let's take the bass control up to about a 50% boost, leaving the treble where it is and leaving the mids at full cut. Now 
Well, let's do the opposite. We're going to cut the treble, that's the treble control, and cut the bass, bring the mids up to center. Just the mids. <laughs> <laughs> and let's boost the mids, why not? 50% boost. <laughs> Let's center the treble, leaving the bass cut, and with the mids at a 50% boost. <laughs> oh, not bad, not bad. Let's, uh... Center the EQ now. Bring the bass up and let's see how she slaps. <laughs> So, you know, not a full slapper, but for a fretless, this is definitely a fun bass to slap. Uh, let's play it with a pick now. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pick here. Uh, again, the EQ centered, is it? Yeah, do, do, do. centered, centered. We have a pick here. Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> Dropped my pick, oops. <laughs> Finally, let's go ahead and throw some drums behind this bass. So here are my final thoughts on my Stingray EX fretless here. This is just a spectacular instrument with the Status Graphite fretless neck. I put this bass together because I wanted a fretless Stingray that was not this fretless Stingray, one that I could bring around and, you know, bang up a little bit and not worry about its value or anything. And uh, this is the bass. I also wanted one with a mute bridge and an unlined fretless board. I was also very much inspired by the likes of Donnie Bonet and his unlined fretless Stingray, which is just a beautiful instrument as well. So I saw that bass and I was like, I want one like that. And here we are. <laughs> I would definitely recommend the Status Graphite Necks. I've had great success with all the applications I've used Status Graphite Necks on, so they're very cool. However, it does take a while for uh, you know your order to actually come to fruition. It definitely takes like 
you know, two or three months or so, but the wait is worth it. And this is definitely a testament to that. So thank you, Status Graphite Next. Thank you, Dave Taylor. And thanks, Music Man, I guess. I don't know. I paid for all this stuff, but. <laughs> So that will do it for my Stingray EX fretless. Let me know what you think about this bass in the comments down below. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord channel, and be sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about my Music Man Stingray EX with a Status Graphite fretless neck. And as always, until we groove again.